To me, it was like the golden age of high school hockey. It was a time in New England and in the Boston area. If you were there, you were lucky to live through it. There were great uh, rivalries of these public schools where it was a, a thing of pride for the whole town to turn out. In those days, there was no division one, two, three. You just went in, no matter who you were, uh, and lasted as long as you could. That's when hockey was really hard. During the 1960s and 70s, the region was on fire for all things hockey. This was the time when hockey rinks sprouted up all over the region to accommodate the demand for ice time. Rink fever. You couldn't get time on a rink. If you wanted a rent, the Four Seasons, you had to do it three weeks in advance. No matter what time of the day, you couldn't get it. The MDC rinks uh, were all built then, and everybody was catching on to, uh, you know, want to be the next Bobby Orr or, Bar or Derek Sanderson. It was an exciting time. Yeah, back in the 70s, it was pretty hard to get a ticket. In those days, the big number everyone knew was 13,909. That was a, that was a capacity number that the Boston got. And... 13,909. And we filled it. And the famous number was 13,909. That was the capacity, you know? And we filled it. I think they had 12 buses from Norwood alone, just packed with fans. And they banged out the garden, maxed it out, 13,909. The Boston Garden had uh, the sound of the crowd, because the crowd was really almost on top of the ice, from the even the balcony. Back in the old garden, you could sit there, and you could it's almost though you could reach out and touch Bobby Orr. And you'd just go out the runway, and the, you'd look up. And I mean, the skates didn't even touch the ice. And the noise was unbelievable. I mean, if somebody scored a goal, the sound would be incredible. I mean, it'd be a roar. It was standing room only. It was back in the era where almost everybody smoked. And there was just a cloud of smoke. It was roaring loud. You walk in there, when smoke packed, people would just pack in there. It was, it was incredible. And all of a sudden, the Bruins just sprung up. They got Orr, they got Esposito. They added some guys like Sanderson and Chivas, and suddenly they're winning, and there was just hockey frenzy. We won in New York. We flew back to Boston. People had driven to the airport to, to greet us. The, the highway was just a parking lot, because they got out of their cars and walked to the airport, and the airport was just overrun with people. It was amazing. Border wars raged between dominant public high school teams Every Saturday night, my whole family, aunts, uncles, cousins, all went to the Boston Arena to watch Walpole play Bay State League hockey. So it was something. It was really something, you know, high school, especially the public high school hockey at that time. You know, they were good teams, and uh, it was a banner, banner time, I think, for high school hockey. Coming soon to a theater near you, Banner Years, the golden era of hockey in Massachusetts.